What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's true, okay? I just literally put up my Christmas tree this week. I know December's right around the corner. However, if you're like me, I'm gonna admit something right now that once Christmas is over, January hits and I just get the seasonal sads. <laughs> I feel like I have nothing to look forward to and I got to get the frig out of Dodge when it comes to being in New Jersey. So Bay and I are already planning trips. Come January, February, we want to get down south and just hit up some warm weather. So yeah, guys, I'm coming at you with a cup she haul. I'm not going to lie to you. At first, I really thought cup she was just swimwear and that's what I anticipated on getting. But then once I actually browsed through their website, I realized, dang, they have a lot of athleisure and lifestyle, a lot of cover-ups, a lot of versatile pieces. So I was extra interested in trying them out. So we have a really nice variety going on today. We have some swimwear, different styles of swimwear, and some super cozy looking athleisure. So I really can't wait to test them out for you guys and see what's up. A huge thank you to Cup Sheet for sending these pieces out my way. If you don't know, they are having a Black Friday sale on November 26th, up to 50% off. I believe most items are gonna be under $25 on this sale. So definitely hit it up, especially if you see any pieces in this haul that you like. I will have absolutely everything linked down below that you see in case you wanna take a closer look. So definitely hit that subscribe button. We do active wear hauls every single week on this channel. Tons of athleisure, now some swimwear, fashion in general. And we have a lot of really fun brands coming your way. We have some more Buff Bunny, Navigation, some more Gymshark, of course. And I actually did a Forever 21 haul, very fall and winter-esque pieces. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, so let's go ahead and try these pieces on. We're gonna start with what I'm wearing. Let's go. All right guys, so the first outfit we're checking out today is the Metropolis cutout sweatshirt with the Skyline black leggings. So this is a nice little mix and match pair we got going on here. First and foremost, I wanna to touch base on this shirt real quick. I think my view of a sweatshirt and Cup She's view of a sweatshirt are just slightly different. I see a sweatshirt as more of a comfy, cozy, hooded sweater, maybe a hood, things like that. This is just a long sleeve shirt. That's just what I think. So it's in this really pretty neutral brown color, almost like a light tan. You have a very tiny rib throughout here. Like super up close, you can see the rib. I absolutely wore a sports bra underneath this because there's no padding in this shirt. I wanted this shirt so badly because of this right here, the cutout. I thought it was really cute. Like the model, when she was modeling on beach, I just saw myself in her and I said, you know what, maybe that'll be me. But then I didn't realize that, you know, like it's an awkward setup here where you gotta wear something under me, but yet like, at, and I, like I'm, I ch I'm just checking out my sports bra right here. Now obviously Cup She has more of that beach wear vibe. Even the woman in the picture was wearing it on the beach. So if you wore a bikini underneath this, I think it would be really cute. This is not something I would wear as going out wearing a bra underneath. But if you're wearing it on the beach, I think you could get away with it. It's still very, very lightweight, very stretchy and comfortable. I would definitely size down because I'm seeing a little bit of bagginess all around here. So a little bit of let up right around this area too. By the way, guys, everything in today's haul is my true size small. I like to keep it that way just so I can kind of give you guys a good assessment of whether you should size up or size down. And for this, I would definitely say size on down. I got a ton of room here. The Skyline leggings, they're just a staple black legging, very buttery, soft, brushed feel. They're high waisted, but very low compression. These are more lifestyle. This is not something I would wear to the gym at all. They are a tad long on me. Again, not something I'm working out in at all. A little low in the support department. Really no tummy control whatsoever. This is more or less staple leggings you just throw on quickly, don't even think twice, and go out the door. They are surprisingly squat proof though. For $26, like that's on the lower end of the spectrum. For leggings in general, it's, it's a fair price, I would say. Now these are not seamless leggings and you guys know how I feel about a front seam. These do have a front seam, but luckily there's enough let up and nothing's digging up in awkward places, thank God. You have mesh pockets on both sides. Yeah, overall makes the peach look pretty good for low key leggings, just grab and go, no thoughts about it. Not too bad. This is the red O-ring one piece. I've kind of been getting into one pieces lately a little bit here and there. They're very hit or miss for me though, I'm not gonna lie. I need an equal amount of support with the girls. I need it to be comfortable and not pull anywhere. This one, 
First impression, pretty freaking comfortable. $25 too, which that's pretty good <laughs> for a swimsuit. You do have removable bra pads. Thank God these look natural. Like it doesn't even look like there's awkward pads in here. Ooh, I really like that. You have a real nice plunge with this one, but luckily the straps are adjustable. You do have a crisscross in the back, these gold little adjustments, you can make a little bit tighter right here, so that's good. So even with the straps adjusted to my comfort level, I'm still seeing a little bit of a lip here, right around the side boob area, so keep that in mind. I think if you have bigger hoo-hahs, you know, maybe you'll fill it out a little bit better overall. <laughs> I think overall this pretty vibrant red is just, it's working for me. Very comfortable, I would say absolutely true to size. Would not size up, would not size down. This is perfect, this is coming with me down to Florida in February, yes! Okay guys, uh -huh. I don't know if it can get better than this set right here, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. So this is the purple and floral one shoulder scallop set, $25 for this entire set, which is really good. So right off the bat, I wasn't really sure about this set because of the one shoulder thing. I knew it looked really cute and I was like, oh my God, that scallop design. But I was a little skeptical because I didn't know how it would actually lay. It looks like a really nice Tarzan, bandeau meets Tarzan look. I think it's really beautiful. I think the mix is what is really standing out to me the most, where you have that solid purple top and then the floral the bottoms. I love that the floral bottoms are high-waisted. It's definitely a lot more conservative on the back than even the one piece. So if you're looking to kind of cover your behind a little bit, this would be really good. I actually really think that the lay just the lay of the scallop design is really, really gentle. Nothing's digging in uncomfortably, even under here, nothing's scratching me up. It's almost like a seamless feel. And you know when it comes to my active wear, I always opt in for seamless, so this is giving me that that feel. It's definitely a low support bra, obviously. You don't have any crazy elastic band holding your girls up, so keep that in mind. If you have larger hoo-hahs, you might need something with a little more support. But for me, as usual, low support is doing the trick. Even the one-sided strap, as nice and thick as it is, very comfortable, turns into sexy strappiness, so you got the best of both worlds in this one. Okay guys, so we're looking at the burnt orange stylish O-ring. Again, I, I don't know, O-rings, man? They do it for me. I think the overall look of this, super cute. I think the color, anything rustic orange faded out has my vote. The overall fit of this top is just angular, so it has more of a, a curved look to it, you see. You also have these two little pieces here that connect right at the O-ring, and you just tie around the back. Gives a little something something to the set, a little extra. This is actually non-adjustable. Fits pretty true to size. I wouldn't size down or up. And the bra padding in here is actually not removable. You're not seeing any bra pad outlines, and usually bra pads, when they're really bulky and you can see the outline, it overall just cheapens the set, but I'm not seeing it here. It looks very seamless. So the bottoms are actually a mid-rise, not a high-rise. You have a little bit of cheekiness going on, but very overall solid, non-adjustable, straightforward bottoms. I think the real key features are in the bra top. This set was $27.99, so really good, still under $30 for this entire set, absolutely. Okay guys, so we're gonna mix it up. I'm actually wearing the white plunge tassel dress. It's a slip dress. On this site, the model's not wearing anything underneath this dress, therefore, I tried that too. I can see my nips through here, so I would look at this as more or less a cover-up dress over a bathing suit, or if you wanna wear like nip pads under here, then you could wear it as just a really cute, like, let's go out to dinner dress. I think of this as more of a lightweight boardwalk, you know, just keeping it low key kind of dress, nothing too fancy or over the top, but very bohemian looking. I really love the white, it's very pure, really beachy, almost that linen type of vibe. I overall think it's very, very flattering. The halter, neck, everything. Moving around a lot, I could feel my side boob just slowly making its way out. So please keep that in mind. If you wanna use some invisible tape to keep your gals in place, that might be a good idea. I would definitely size down in this one, hands down. Like if I could do it all over again, there's a lot of space back here. It is a full open back. It's very pretty. I'm, 
very, very pretty, but yeah, you got a lot of looseness around my back area. The length overall for me being 5'3 is perfect, but you do have the slit on both sides. So this is the Macy black and white bunny tie suit, $29.99 for this set. I think this is a really unique looking piece, especially the top. This is not something you see every day. This is cool because it's versatile. So you can wear it with high-waisted jeans and this is actually a swim top. You have short sleeves, you have a built-in tie, nothing's coming undone, it's, it's staying there. Decent amount of cleavage, moderate support, not a whole lot going on underneath here, so keep that in mind, you know, you're still, still moving around. But you do have removable bra pads. Luckily, there's no movement even putting your arms up like this. It's not like it's just flipping up on you. The back is full coverage, high-waisted, solid black bottoms, a little bit cheeky. Overall, really modest set. Something's going on with this black and white for me though. It looks very, very fresh and clean. So yeah, if you're somebody who's not a fan of the bright colors or crazy prints, then I would maybe stick to something like this, a little more subtle, but yet still unique. Okay guys, last but not least, we have a super comfortable casual set. This is the Sweet Dreams cropped hoodie. And we also have the Midtown sweatpants. It's a real pretty blushy pink color. Very luxurious type of set. The lining inside is the French terry lining. So it's very, very soft. This cropped hoodie is just meant to be very casual and loose, kind of off the shoulder. I'm not really vibing with this fit because it just, it feels like a lot of work for me to constantly be pulling it around everywhere. I believe this was $36. Like I would have liked to see a little bit of a, maybe a zipper or something, just a, more of an option. I just, I'm not a real big fan of this off the shoulder feel because I feel like it's constantly falling down and I feel awkward. I really love this crinkly cut waistband. It doesn't dig in, it just kind of lays on your skin, just hovers over if anything. So I think it's a very, very, very comfortable fit. These do still have that lining, so a very nice plush, very good to sleep in. All right guys, so that concludes today's cup sheet video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. My overall feels, I mean, this again was my first impression ever trying cup sheet. I really think there's a lot of value and quality in their swimwear. I know that's originally what they were known for. I would definitely recommend their swimwear. And if I had to do it all over again, I would repurchase more swimwear. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. A ton more activewear videos coming your way. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.